Ooh, yay! Six, seven, Hello, the Internet Tough Monkey here once again. Hope you're all well. Thank you very much for stopping by. And this is finally EAWRC. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. And on that score, thank you so much for all the people who watched my preview videos and the run up to the release of this game. I'm only a very, very small uh, YouTube channel. Uh, and I really do appreciate all the watchers, all the likes, and all the comments. And from those comments, I got to get a flavour of people's concerns. Was this going to be a next-gen graphical game? It's debatable. It's not really next-gen graphics. You look at this, compare it against even the previous Dirt Rally, and you think, okay, it's nice, it's flashy, but is it really next-gen graphics? Probably not. But that's not the that's not the end of the day, is it? Really, it's uh, we're here for the enjoyment of the game. But the other main concern was, is this? A hardcore rally game. I know there's going to be a lot of people who are desperately hoping this was going to be a, rally, a hardcore rally game, but is it? So if you've come by to watch this video to see my views on whether this is a hardcore rally simulator or not, to justify going out and buying it and hoping pairing it up with your tens of thousands of pounds worth of rally sim setup, I'm afraid this isn't the game for you. Is it a hardcore sim? No, it's not. It really isn't. It's it's a very good approximation one. It's, I hesitate to use the word simcade. It's not an arcade game. It's not a full blown simulator. It's in between. And I think it's all for the better of it. So if you're after a hardcore rally simulator, and I'm gonna lose some of my viewers here, so I'll bid you good day. Thank you very much for stopping by, but this isn't the game for you. So thank you. Okay, have they gone? Right, okay. This is so much fun, this is. I've been playing this for the last two hours and 20 minutes. It came out at four o'clock, 4 a.m. UK time for us. I mean, thank you, EA and Codemasters. Who's playing a rally game at four o'clock in the morning? A giant lark. I couldn't come in here at four o'clock in the morning. The wife's in the room two doors down. She'd have been, she'd have killed me if I'd have come in here playing with this. She would have flat out murdered me, chopped me up and buried me in the garden and claimed a very healthy life insurance policy and then gone off with Jensen Button, which is, I think, her aim anyway. So <sighs> I'm not going to be playing until four o'clock in the morning. So I had to go to work at eight o'clock, eight o'clock in the morning. I was at work five o'clock in the afternoon. I write down tools. So from five o'clock to 20 past seven, as it is on Halloween release day, I have been playing this game. I've gone through various modes. I've gone through the um, the training sessions. I've, I've had a look through all of the um, uh, different uh, rally school things. Driving a rally car for the first time can be a daunting experience for anyone. Are you sure you're not a professional? And I really do think that's a good thing to do. Um, you, you used to be able to do that on Richard Burns Rally, and it gives you it gives you a flavour of things, and it just gets you um, adjusted to the car, and it's great for beginners because this is the main crux of this. Not everyone who's going to be playing this game is a hardcore rally nut. And while I'm going to tell you a bit about me and what I want from the game and why I want it from the game, this video is really about you. It's really about anyone who hasn't pre-bought this game. Because if you pre-bought this game, then what are you doing here looking at my reviews? You're only just here for justification for buying the game in the first place. But this isn't for you. This is a video for people who didn't pre-order the game. You've still got another two days before the game comes out. Do you want to buy it? And it really is about you, what you what you want from this game and what you're expecting from this game because that's two very different things not everyone's going to be a rally nut so some some people are going to want to have a, uh, a just a nice driving game something you may may have come from the need for speed or super mario kart type of playing and that is fine i totally appreciate that and this game guides you through step by step you've got all the rally schools you've got so many different options in the settings to set yourself up with a uh, highly assisted car all the way through to a uh, it's a pro setting they call it and all assists are off and that's how i've got it that's that's how i want it but you don't have to have it you can have whatever assist you want you can set up the car entirely how you want if you've got a controller you can play it on your controller if you've got a um, sim racing setup you can play it on there there's uh, a lot of compatibility for all the various different things now from the stop, I'm going to tell you, I'm playing on PS5. And there's going to be a lot of people playing on Xbox, and there's going to be a lot of people playing on PC. And that is brilliant. If you ever played the previous Dirt game, it was cross-platform. I've got a group of mates, and we still play today on uh, Dirt Rally 2. Um, we've got a nice little group going. We set up championships, and it's great. And um, Two of us play on 
um, PS5, well, it was actually it was PS5, PS4, one was on an Xbox, and one was on a PC. Uh, two of us played on steering wheels. I've got a Fanatec CSL uh, setup, which is pretty much the base level Fanatec steering wheel. I know people go to absolute town and spend tens of thousands of pounds on Simrig gear. I've just, I, it's almost like a toe in the water. I did have a uh, Logitech G29. Um, that's what one of my mates plays on. Another one plays on um, dual, dual sense controller. And another one who plays on PC plays it on a keyboard. I don't know how he does it. He's an absolute alien. Martin, you're a freak. You really are. But like, he, he still can be competitive. Anyway, so if you're new to rally racing, this game is going to guide you in and you're going to progress through the ranks, up through the uh, two-wheel drive cars, up to the fire-spitting four-wheel drive cars. And you're going you're gonna to have a blast. And welcome to the genre. It's, it's great fun, it really is. If you're a hardcore sim nut, you can, you can change the settings. Like I say, I've got it on two pro modes. So I've got no ABS, no traction control. Everything is off. And I've been able to configure it and tailor it to how I want the car to behave. And I'm having a great... I'm having a ball. I mean, it's, I've only been playing for two hours and I've been mostly playing the, um, you can set up your own uh, quick race, but you can go to town on the, whatever um, uh, category of car, so whatever group of car, and I've tried the, the very latest WRC cars. I've tried um, Group B rally cars, obviously, and I've even tried, I wanted to try the Talbot Sunbeam. That was the first car that I used in the game because I've never played it on a rally game before and I wanted to play it and it was great fun. Um, uh, raspy little two wheel drive, uh, rear end, uh, rear wheel drive car, fantastic little car. I love it. I've driven the Subaru Impreza uh, from 1998, which is a year before the car, the very car that I used to own. Slowing six left, left uphill. Up three right, late two left. Up three right, half long, tightens, one left short, 80. Four left left. And slight right. It's a three left. Tightens one. And six right. What else have I driven? Uh, well, I've driven the MG Metro six or seven. Very times, long. It's a crest, 80. Four left, 100. Right of a crest, 100. Um, and I've driven several different stages in different um, climates. So I've driven Monte Carlo in uh, springtime. Four right of a crest, keep in 50, over finish, two right to stop, okay. So it's perfectly dry tarmac drive. And then I've done it in the winter time when as you go up the cold to Torini, it gets snowy. Four right to the crest, keep in, 50, over finish, two right to stop, okay. And it's wonderful, it might it makes makes the stages as if you've got twice as many, well four times as many, because the stages evolve, they, they're completely different, and I think that's great, I really do think it's wonderful. Um, the car selection, we've got a wide range of cars to go from, we'll have all have seen the cars in the, uh, the pre-release uh, things that uh, EA did, and I've got, I've got to take my hat off to EA and Codemasters, they give us so many... Uh, sneak previews and um, uh, YouTube videos long before this game came out and it got the community talking and there were some concerns I had my own concerns I was thinking was this next-gen graphics and then I sort of questioned myself what does it matter if it's next-gen graphics um, I'm, I'm here for the fun now like I say this this video is about you to decide whether this game is the right game for you whether you want to spend your 44 pound or whatever it is uh, that's what it is on uh, PS5 um, but how I evaluate things, I am, uh, I actually do reviews for Amazon. I have done for 20 odd years and I've done uh, probably best part of 2000 reviews. I've had nearly 4 million uh, views of those uh, reviews. Um, and Amazon, I'm part of their Vine program. They send me products for me to re uh, review as an independent reviewer. So I have got a long history of reviewing things and I look, try to look at things from different point of views when I'm doing those reviews. So it's not about me, but th this is where I come from. And I have long been a rally fan ever since those, I mean, I, I, I was into rallying in the mid eighties when the MG Metro 6R4 was on the stages. I live in Derbyshire, just down the road from Chatsworth House where the uh, 
a group we rally cars used to come thundering through. My heroes of the day in rallying were uh, Tony Pond, uh, Dyke Llewellyn, um, Colin's dad, Jimmy McRae, people like that in the uh, MG Metro 6R4. And I grew I grew to love it. I was also a Formula One nut, as I still am. And I remember my mum taking me to Golden Gains, a little model shop in Derby, if you know Derby. Um, and she gave me the option for my birthday to choose one scale electric car for my birthday. And it was the choice between a, a green and white Saudi Air Williams Formula One car, which was probably Kaki Rosberg's car, maybe, or an MG Metro 6R4. And I stood there for a long, long time. And it was like trying to choose whether to keep my left or right hand. I chose the MG Metro 6R4. My very first car was an MG Metro. And... I've been besotted with rallying ever since. I've followed the uh, Wales Rally GB and Rally GB before that and Lombard RAC Rally long before that. I followed it around the country with my friends, my, um, my uh, parents and uh, I love it. And you would think that I would want a hardcore rally game. I, I've competed on... Um, I used to be a carter. I've competed in the Le Mans 24-hour autosport event on, on two separate occasions for Butmore Park. I've been a competitive racer, and for my 30th birthday, I bought myself my dream car, which was the RB5 Subaru Impreza. I owned that for over, over three years. Rallying is in my blood, so you would think I would really, really want a hardcore rally sim. But that's not what gaming is about to me. I've been gaming since 1983, 84, so 40 years I've been gaming, and I started on a Sinclair ZX Spectrum, that Sinclair ZX Spectrum up there, playing with a Kempston joystick, which is sat just behind me there. And I have, at some point, owned, and still own in many cases, every single mainstream console and computer you can imagine. I have spent thousands of pounds of gaming computer. That's my gaming computer there. I'm on PS5. I've got the option to play on PC, but I never do. I use my PC purely to edit these videos. That's what it's a gaming PC, but I prefer using PS5. Don't ask me why, I don't know why. And I, uh, I've i been playing driving games. I've done many, many videos for Sega Rally. Right, baby. One, two, right. Sega Rally 2. V Rally. Medium left into medium right. And so many other rally games. And I just I just prefer arcade or simcade as they're called rally games. I like to have fun when I'm playing uh, rally games. I really, really do. I work long hours, I do a Potentially quite a stressful job dealing with millions of pounds worth of um, construction, civil engineering. And when I switch that laptop off of an evening time, I just, I just want to wind down for an hour or so before my wife gets home from work and I have to cook her dinner. So I don't want pages and pages of setup. I, I've been on iRacing, I've been on R Factor, I've been on Race Room. They don't really interest me. And I, I always find that hardcore rallying, sorry, hardcore sim racing, it's it's not about the fun of driving. You. I'm on all the forums and it's all a case of uh, rate my setup and how many thousands of pounds have I spent on my, my, my setup. Well, how's, my t how's my monitors? How's my, how's my TVs? And if it's actually about the game, it's who's at fault, who's crashed into who. I'm not interested in that. But I play Dirt Rally. I play Gran Turismo and I enjoy it. It's a great way of winding down. And this, it continues the theme of Dirt Rally 2. Dirt Rally 2, I, I love that. And Dirt Rally before that and all the Colin McRae games before that. I've owned every single one of them. I've written, in fact, where are they? They're, they're behind here somewhere. So I'm not lying about these. These are my, well, just a sum, some selection of my rally games. I've got over 1,500 games, original games up there. So like V Rally, we've got Rally International Championship. The, the Rally Championship uh, series spawned a game, which I'm going to come on to in a moment. That was one of my all-time favourite rally games, Sega Rally, and I still play it. I was playing it at the weekend. I absolutely adore that game. So, uh, Sega Rally 2 on the Dreamcast, the original EAWRC, the original Dirt Rally, the original Colin McRae Rally. There it is. It is an absolute banger of a game, that one is. It's in my CD case down there. Colin McRae Rally 2, the original Dirt name, Dirt branded Colin McRae game. 
And then there's this game. Richard Burns Rally. And I'm showing you this because this is the game that people use as the yardstick for sim rallying. And I understand why they do it. I still, I still play it. I was playing it before this video. And it is a wonderful game. And I believe that a lot of people have lost sight of what the original Richard Burns game was because I, I, I installed a clean install onto, onto my gaming computer and I hooked up my old Logitech G29, which I still have. I still have my old Momo Force racing wheel as well. I hooked it up, clean install, and played it as SCI and Warthog intended. Three, two, one. When it first came out, nobody really liked it. It came out on PlayStation, it came out on PC, and I think it was on Xbox as well. Very few people enjoyed it. I remember reviews from the time, I think I it was GameSpot or something like that, said it was too difficult and too real to be fun. And that was kind of true. It was a rock hard game. And I think many people think of a rally simulator as being just a hard game. If it's a hard game, it's a rally simulator, which is just not right. But when people are talking about Richard Burns Rally and they do look at it through rose tinted glasses, very few of them are actually looking at the original game. Because like I say, that was not enjoyed by when it first came out. I loved it. I actually loved it. I really did because it was, it was that against all the Colin McRae games. And it was, a, it was a breath of fresh air, but not many people actually bought the game. It was only until it became a highly modded game and it's still being modded today. There's a community that uh, mod it and it's, it's a wonderful game. But when people are talking about the best rally simulator game, they're talking really about the highly modded game, not the original the day one release as we're talking about here with Dirt Rally, Colin McRae Rally, whatever you want to call it, EAWRC. So is this the game for you? If you want a hardcore rally game, and you thought you were going to get a hardcore rally game, you're going to be sadly disappointed. This was never going to be a hardcore rally game. You might have wanted one, but really, in your heart of hearts, did you think that this was going to be a hardcore rally game? This is Codemasters, now owned by Electronic Arts. All of these Codemasters games here, Colin McRae, Colin McRae 2, Dirt Rally, none of them are, are full-on simulator games. I've been playing, I mean, this this is my very first Codemasters game, that is. That is Grand Prix Simulator from about 1986, and that's the game that I'm playing in the photograph up there next to my Spectrum. Back in 1986, Codemasters Grand Prix Simulator. The word simulator, I mean, Codemasters was synonymous with the word simulator. They put simulator on everything. And that was the first simulator for Grand Prix racing that I played. Not, not totally true, actually. That's... Uh, they're the first two group. Formula One simulator by Mastertronic and uh, Sinclair Checker Flag. That game, you could build your own steering wheel. Genuinely, on that spectrum, with a soup can and a dinner plate sellotape to it, you could use that with your own homemade simulator. That's where that's the birth of these simula simulator rigs, in my view. Ah. So I've been, I've been a fan of Codemasters for a long, long time, but they are not simulators. They are not hardcore simulators. They're not iRacing. They're not R-Factor. They are nothing like that. They are fun games. And that's what I wanted with this. So to think that Codemasters were going to bring out a hardcore rally simulator when they're now owned by EA. And a lot of people have got their views on EA. I've got my own views on EA. Some of them rightly or wrongly. But I go back to the Mega Drive, Sega Genesis, wherever you're from. And American fans, hello. A lot, a lot of my viewers are from America, so Sega Genesis for you. They EA made some bangers. They my first experience with them were PGA Tour Golf, John Madden, NHL Ice Hockey, those kind of games. Uh, even the original FIFA, FIFA Soccer, EA games, and they were so much fun. Okay, there's all the things now about loot boxes and pay to play and all that sort of business, but I I've. I've been war welcoming this 
this merger because I, I think it gives Codemasters the financial push towards uh, investing in the game and coming up with a polished game. Have we got a polished game? Well, I'll come to that in a moment. But if you were really thought thinking that EA were going to come out with a hardcore simulator, that was never going to happen. EA, they've got to sell their game to the to the masses. They really do. I mean, that was always going to be the case. Like it or lump it, hardcore sim racing of any nature, it's a niche. It's a niche market in, in gaming. And EA were never going to market it straight to that, that fan base because they were never going to sell. They were never going to sell in the numbers that EA need to make to justify the purchase of Codemasters. It had to be a game which sells to the masses. And I think from my first experience over the last couple of hours, they've built a game that should certainly satisfy new drivers, will satisfy casual rally drivers, and will satisfy the majority of sim racers. I want those kind of games because that's what makes, makes, it makes me happy. They're enjoyable games, these are. And I think if you can put aside the fact that this isn't a hardcore rally simulator. That's not really a hardcore rally simulator. Ignore what people tell you. Richard Burns rally is not a hardcore rally simulator. It never is. It's, it's, it's difficult. It's challenging, but it's not a hardcore simulator. When I play Richard Burns rally and I close my eyes, do I think that I am sitting on the stage at uh, Haver and Sweet Lamb in a Subaru Impreza? No, I don't. I think I'm sitting at my computer screen playing a computer game. And that's what we all are. We are games players here. And <clears throat> I love you all. I don't care whether you're on PC, Xbox or PlayStation. I've got all three. I've got all that lot. I don't care. We're all gamers. Just remember that. We, we've got this odd community where it's almost like a religion, our community is. Where everyone has almost the same belief. We're all here to play computer games. We're all here to have a great time. And the person next to you also wants to have a great time playing computer games. But... He might have an Xbox, he might have a PlayStation, he might have a PC. And just because of that slight difference, you hate him. And you, arguments will kick off who's got the best games um, system, who's got the best driving simulator, all this. Like, it's, like you say, it's just like a religion. Everyone's got a very, very similar belief. But just that tiny little change, wars happen. It's, it's incredible. So whatever you're on, welcome. I love you all. I love you all as gamers. I, that, let's embrace the games. We're all gamers. And is this game for you? That is the question I'm going to go back to. Is EA WRC going to be the game for you? Well, two hours in, this is not a review. Anyone who's posted anything saying it's a review, it's simply not. They may, they may have had the pre-release version for a demonstration period and uh, purposes, but even that has been updated on a day day zero, nine gigabyte patch. So it probably wasn't the game they're playing. So if it, they managed to do a review in even what... 14, 16 hours, whatever it was since it came out. No, you, you can't do that on a game of this size. This game is going to keep you going for months on end. We've got so many different rally uh, locations. We've got so many different cars, so many different challenges with the, the moment section. You've got so much customization of this game. I'm, I'm, I'm actually happy and content. I, I feared that this would be an absolute botch job of a game. But it isn't. I've, I've, I've been driving for two and a half hours with a broad smile on my face. And that's what, I can, that's what I've got to pass on to you. It's not a hardcore sim. It's not an easy game. You can configure it to be however you want. There are some issues I've come across. People have mentioned there's some graphical stuttering. I've noticed it um, perhaps two or three times on each stage. There's, there's, a, there's a noticeable juddering. But... I'm sure that will get patched up. I'm sure it will. The there's a couple of things in the in the menu systems. Um, for example, when you're setting your car up uh, just before you go on stage, on dirt two you'd have it all in a, in a line. So you'd have the page for uh, alignment, for suspension, for uh, drivetrain, whatever. And you just tap the um, tap your uh, gear shifter along, and it'll go to the next page. Go to the next page. Go to the next page. On this, you go into it. You do your settings, and then you've got to come back out to another menu to go back into the next menu. That's, a little bit clunky. I could just do with the um, either a paddle shift or a paddle shift or the shoulder button just to to move on forward or something like that. But generally, everything is pretty much how I want it to be. It's very very customizable. I can set this up for for all my mates to play in our own 
um, own little enclosed group of mates or challenge the world on any system. And I've got to take my hat off to that. That's fantastic. It should be bringing us gamers together on whatever format you're on. We're all going to be competing against each other on what I think is, it's not the final word slickish polished game. I think they're going to be probably dropping patches over the next couple of days just to patch up certain things. And this game will develop. We've got to remember that this is day zero. No one liked that on day zero. It took years of evolution of mods by the community before it became the game it's now loved today. This game is going to evolve. How much, how much we're going to see with all the uh, any downloadable content? Not too sure. We, we've got to wait and see for that. This, I just wanted to do this video for those people sitting at home on your PCs, on your tablets, on your mobile phones, wondering whether to buy this game or not. You've, you decided not to go for the pre. Um, the pre-release order and I can appreciate and understand that so this video is for you is this game what you're expecting if you're expecting a hardcore rally sim it's not the game for you if you're expecting a fun rally fest of a game for all generations on all sorts of circuits it is it's great fun and I genuinely I'm not the kind of person to blow smoke up your, up your skirt if something is bad I will tell you it's bad I don't mind uh, annoying people. I don't mind annoying companies. I've done plenty of time in the past. I'm pretty sure that Apple would like me strung up on a, uh, uh, on a on a stick somewhere for some things I've said about their products in the past. But I will tell you if this game was bad, and it's not bad. I've really enjoyed it. It's it works well with my my steering wheel. I've been able to configure it just how I want it to be. It's great fun, and that at the end of the day is what I'm here for. I'm here for a fun driving simulator game driving arcade game, whatever you want to call it. This game is definitely for me, and unless you're really wanting the last word in hardcore simulation, this game is for you as well. If you're in any way, in any way interested in motorsports or rallying, I think you're going to have a blast. And at the end of the day, that's all we want. We want to have some fun playing our driving games. This game's going to deliver in spades, and it's going to do good deliver in spades for weeks, for months. And if it's anything like Dirt Rally, for years to come as well. I hope that's given you some kind of indication whether this is the game for you. I really do appreciate you stopping by and watching the video. Do give me a, a like, comment and subscribe and do mash, mash this, the comment section. I wanna know what you think. Generally, this video is about you. It's not about me, it's about you. Tell me what you expected, tell me what you wanted. And if you have been playing it already, tell me what you think of it. Do you think it was worth it? Personally? I'm happy I spent my £45 or whatever it was. I'm going to be playing this for so long. I'll see you next time. Take it easy.